54 bust. Right now I'm thinking 34 bust. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching England Anarchy. That's a little shout out to my buddy, uh, Glenn McDonald and his channel, 54 Bust. Uh, I'm not looking for anything that big right now. Wait till we get up to Canada and then we'll worry about the 54s. Right now, I'm looking for anything because it is early in the season and we just want to put a muskie in the boat. I'm here with my buddy, we're in Indiana. That's Rusty from Rusty's Custom Lures. Uh, we got our butts kicked yesterday. Uh, we just could not get anything to bite. We got, what, three follows? Yeah, three follows yesterday. We are back out today. They had some really hard rains about a week ago, so some of the waters around here are a little bit murked up, but I think we've got water that we can work with today and hopefully put a muskie in the boat. We're gonna be tossing some of his baits, um, and that's it for right now. We're just gonna throw some glides, I think, for the most part, and see if we can't get ourselves a beautiful Indiana muskie for you all to look at. All right, folks. Well, I am throwing one of these little six-inch six suckers. Uh, you've seen these before, but these are neat baits. They've got the little dangly blade on the back. I've got it on a 2020 salt stick nine-foot surgical strike. I really enjoy using this for smaller glide baits, that sort of thing. 400 Tranks HG, and of course, Finn's 80-pound big game excess line. I really love this stuff. And so does Rusty. He's throwing fins as well and i think he's got a little six inch fortune teller up front so we got some glide baits rocking and we're gonna see if we can get one of these muskies to hit and he's like i tell you what he's like you gotta get get the lake association involved and he's like if you can get some oh got one got one okay i'm just gonna leave this not a bad one not a bad one dude okay oh, oh no. nice Flip fish it. buddy Awesome. Yeah, dude. buddy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic fish, buddy. <sighs> I thought he kicked it. <laughs> Put her on spot lock there. Yep. All right. I'll, I'll have you hold this. I'm going to grab my. Uh... Reel in my Medusa. Right at that. Oh, beautiful fish, man. That is a dandy. All right. Whoo. Beautiful fish, man. All right, let's see how big she is. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Well, that's a belly. There we go. What we got here, 40? 40. Look at that. Nice little belly. Yeah, that is a beautiful fish, man. What'd she hit? The uh, five inch six suckers, uh, my prototype. That's awesome, man. Yeah, thank you. Get her back in the water here. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> there she goes, she's riding herself. Yeah. Let her sit. Yes. <laughs> we needed that after yesterday. <laughs> He's just going to hang out. Yeah, I know. A couple of meanies. There she goes. Awesome. I feel good about this. I do too. I feel real good. We that did, was a tough we did, day yesterday. Oh, it was a tough day yesterday. We had good water clarity yesterday, but we had st they had storms come through here that completely blew out some of the rivers and stuff. So uh, didn't know what the water clarity was going to be like, and it's it's not great, but it's obviously good enough. Good enough for a fish to bite. Good enough for a fish to bite. All right. Well, uh, we just got one, so we should quit yapping and get back to fishing and see if we can get another one. These beautiful, I can't even talk. Beautiful Indiana muskies. <laughs> 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was a beautiful fish that Rusty just got, and it was on a prototype bait. This is a five inch six sucker. Uh, I know there were a lot of guys at the Wausau Muskie Expo that were looking for some smaller baits from Rusty. This thing is dynamite. For a small glide bait, the amount of glide it has side to side with that little dangly blade on the back is amazing. And uh, the fact that we got that fish on it is even more so. So it uh, looks like somebody's gonna have to start making some five inch six suckers because this is an amazing, cool little bait. Oh, there we go, there we go. Follow. Still with it. Still there? Yep. Still there. You want me to kill the trolling motor? Yep. Huh? Yep. Oh, he just took off. Dang it. Oh, he stuck with it for a while, though, man. It wasn't a giant fish, but it was like a mid 30s. All right, folks, well, here's a little afternoon update for you. Um, we got the one nice one, so that's good. We've seen three others, uh, one of which I think I saved because you could sort of see what was going on. The other which I tried to save, but my camera wasn't running, so it's kind of neighbor heavy. And this wind is ridiculous. It is really making it tough to fish the spots we want to fish, but uh, to have a, a beautiful 40-incher in the boat right now is worth its weight in cold. So desperately wanted to get a fishing video out, so we're definitely going to be able to do that. We've got some weather coming in. Um, we've got water temps that are 46 to 49, depending on what side of the lake we're on. That wind is really taking that surface water that the sun, uh, when it does come out, and heating the water up and pushing it to one end of the lake. And we did see one of the fish down there, actually two of the fish. So, but we're just kind of making some circles here, checking all the spots. We've tried deep. Most of the fish we've seen are shallow, so that is what we're gonna continue doing is throwing glide baits in the shallows. If Nathan had gone just six inches deeper, that's what she said, by the way. Fish, fish, big fish, big fish, big fish, dude, big fish. Okay, where are we at? I'm gonna come right back around here, over here. Oh, my God. Right here. Rusty, like that, that is a giant, yes. buddy. Oh my God, <gasps> that's like a 44. Oh, it's you think? Than that. You think so? I'm saying 45. Six. <sighs> okay, where do you want to get it as far as being let's able get the, to deal let's with get it? the anchor set? Okay, all right, I'll hold it, buddy. That's a giant, dude. I thought I was stuck, dude. I thought I was stuck. That's, that's <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a giant, giant fish. I mean, we're guessing mid 40s, but we're gonna we're gonna get it out and uh, see exactly what it is. Uh, I'll definitely be registering this fish with uh, Musky Zinc. So we want to get an accurate measurement real quick. Take a look at it and get this beautiful fish back in the water. Look at that fish, guys. What beautiful colors on it. 
Oh my goodness. What a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. All right. Nice. Let's get around the bump. Hopefully. Got a few little spawn scars on her. Yep. All right, behavioral. What beautiful pattern on her. Oh. What are you in here? 46 and a half? 46 and a half. 46 and a half inches, guys. What a beautiful fish. My goodness. <laughs> It crushed that six inch six sucker. I thought I was stuck on the bottom, you guys. I thought I was stuck on the bottom. All right, let's get the sucker back in. The water is cold, so that part's good. All right, mama. Oh, thank you for that. I needed that in the worst way. She's already kicking. And there she goes. Dude, wow. I mean, we've got maybe a half hour left before this rain comes in. If we get another fish, great. If not, we've had an amazing day. Two fish that are 40 plus. It's so awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, what an amazing, amazing fish. I have rotten luck on these uh, spring trips, it seems like. I mean, other people catch fish, thank goodness, because then at least I can make videos, but usually my nut luck is not the greatest. So to get a fish of that caliber is just unreal. Another thing I wanted to mention is to become a member of Muskies Inc. If you are into this sport, find your local chapter. I will leave a link below for you to become a member of Muskies Inc. And I will leave the Indiana chapter that is closest to where I'm at right now. I'm a member of Capital City Muskies. They do so much for stocking efforts. They do so much for the promotion of this sport. So please, if you get a chance, check it out. It's fun going to the meetings and meeting all the other guys and gals that are into this crazy sport that we love so much. So please check it out. I will leave a link for all that below. All right, let's get back to fishing. Call it. I'm, I'm with you. Fish! I'm gonna come over here. Okay. Oh, oh no. there he goes. Shoot. Oh. Oh well. Boy, he came up and hit right next the to the boat. That was the male. Yeah, probably so. <laughs> <laughs> oh man how cool <laughs> oh a nice little fish yeah all right folks well we almost ended on a bang there we had that last little guy hit right next to the boat and uh kind of went airborne on me couldn't get it in the bag but uh the two that the two biggest ones we got so that's the important part um Wow, just, just night and day difference between yesterday. It was just so disheartening to come and uh, get our butts kicked by muskies, but that's what they do. So, and it just makes days like these that much more important and make you feel a little bit better <laughs> about this silly sport. So uh, with that, we are gonna get in, get warmed up, and we've got one more day. We're yep. gonna do this again tomorrow. Um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow too, so yeah. But it's the eclipse tomorrow, so maybe we'll catch an eclipse musky. Fingers crossed. It'll be a first. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, everybody, I appreciate you all watching this mess, and I will see you on the next video.